Today we're going to be learning section 3.5, working with sets. Our goals are to write sets and identify subsets, as well as find the complement of a set. So let's begin by recalling what a set really is. A collection of distinct elements, that is what a set is. And also, a certain type of set is called a subset, and a subset is a set that contains elements from a another set. An example of this would be if we had a set that had M, N, and O, a subset of that set would be M and O because it contains two elements that are from the original set. And something important for us to remember is that sets are the basis of mathematical language. There is a lot of applications for sets. And you won't see a ton of them this year, but you will see some in future math classes in high school. And for those of you who are going to major in math, such as uh, what I did, you will definitely see this applied in uh, abstract algebra, number theory. There's a ton of applications. So anyways, let's learn the two different notations for sets. The first one is called raster form. And raster form lists the elements of a set within braces. So those are like curly braces right there. It's a fancy form of parentheses. And rasters look like this. One comma two. Another one would be two, four, six, and eight, dot, dot, dot. You can see there's a pattern going on. Um, an example of a raster in non-math form would be such as if you're on a sports team like football or soccer or baseball or something like that, your coach will have a roster of all the team members. This is similar. Roster form in math is listing all of the elements of the set team, basically. So now let's look at uh, set builder form or notation. And set builder notation describes the properties an element must have in order to be included in the set. So the difference between the two is that roster lists the elements and set builder describes. And an example of set builder notation, and I'm actually going to write this set in set builder instead of roster so you can see the difference. X is a multiple of two. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, dot, dot, dot is the roster form of the set, and x such that x is a multiple of 2 is the set builder. The first one just lists the elements, and the second one describes the properties of the elements. Example 1, and this is in the top right corner of your note sheet. How do you write T is a set of natural numbers that are less than 6 in roster form, and how do you write in set builder? So let's do raster first. Remember, this is just a list. So natural numbers that are less than 6, and it's called set T. So T equals braces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it has to be less than 6. And remember, natural numbers start with 1. So those are the numbers in the set. All natural numbers that are less than 6. Now let's do set builder. T equals braces x, a number x, such that x is a natural number. Where? x is less than 6. So you can see the roster form is a list of the elements and the set builder is a description. Example 2. In set builder notation, how do you write the solutions of this inequality? Negative 5x plus 7 is less than or equal to 17. We want to first get the variable by itself. So let's subtract 7. Negative 5x is less than or equal to 10. And we need to get the x by itself, so we'll divide both sides by negative 5. You know, there's a multiplication between the two, so that's why we're dividing. I'm going to rewrite this. What happens to the symbol in the middle when you divide by a negative? You have to flip the symbol, reverse it. So now we have a greater than or equal to symbol, 
and we have a negative 2 on the other side. So looking at the options, A is exactly the same, but that's not in set builder because there's no braces. Um, C is just a list. That would be something, some set in raster form. And now the difference between B and D is just the symbol. So greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. And what we're going to do is build around our answer, put an X, put a, a vertical line and braces. And which one does that match up with? It's B. A is a subset of B if each element of A is also an element of B. So let's look at this circle diagram. B is the big circle and A is the small circle. This is the set and this is the subset. So remember, a subset is just a smaller group of elements from the original set. Here's an example. B is equal to um, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and A is these values. As you can see, negative 1 is in B, 0 is in B, and 2 is in B. So that means that A is a subset of B because all of the elements of A are also elements of B. And the little symbol that we use for subset is this like elongated C with a line underneath. That means is a subset of. Now there's something called an empty set. It's also called a null set, but I'll use um, empty set. Null set is mostly used in college. Uh, empty set is just as it sounds. Empty set is a set that contains no elements. So it's completely empty. And an interesting fact is that the empty set is a subset of every set. And the symbols that we will use, I normally use just braces with nothing inside. Another way to write this is a zero and a slash through. And I know that on standardized tests, they will be using these symbols. So make sure you familiarize yourself with these. Those mean empty set. Okay, back side of your note sheet. Example three, what are all the subsets of the set three, four, five? First of all, let's start off with the empty set. Nothing inside. Now we're going to list the subsets with one element only. So three by itself, four, and five. Now we are going to list the subsets with two elements, three and four, three and five, and four and five. And you don't need to change the order. They're the same thing, so we don't need to rewrite those. And the last is the original set. The original set is always a subset of itself. So all of those are subsets of the original set, three, four, five. Okay, there's something called a universal set, and this is uh, top right corner of your note sheet. Universal set, what does universal mean? It's the largest set that you are working with, such as universe is very large. Um, Complement of a set is the set of all elements in the universal set that are not in the set. Not is the key word all the elements in the universal set that are not in the set that we're talking about. So there's pictures of these different kinds of sets below. U represents the universal set. That's a blank that you need to fill in. And the complement of set A is shaded. So take a look at this diagram over here, complement. Here's the set. The complement is everything else outside. It's not in the set. And we denote that by having apostrophe. Okay, last example. Universal set U contains king, queen, bishop, knight, rook, and pawn. And set A is the set of chess pieces that move side to side. What is the complement of set A? So all you chess lovers out there, you'll love this problem. Take a look at the picture. We're looking for the pieces that move from side to side. And there's like little diagrams right here that show you. Kings move from side to side. Queens, looks like they move from side to side. Bishops do not. Knights do not move from side to side. They have a very specific L-shaped movement. So knights do not move from side to side. Rooks do. And pawns do not. 
But now what we're going to do is just draw a diagram to help us out. Types of chess pieces. So make sure you set up your diagram like this. The king, queen, and the rook are the pieces that go from side to side. So they are inside the set. And the, the ones that we circled above are not pieces that move from side to side, so we put them outside the set. We're looking for the complement of set A. So set A is king, queen, rook, and the complement would be all the values that are not in set A. So that would be bishop, knight, and pawn. Make sure you write down the answer, which is right here, and there's a little description below. The elements in U are not in A. Those are the values of the complement. And that completes the lesson. You can try the lesson check right now or wait until we do problems together during class.